Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today we want to take a look at all the Ledger hardware wallets and which ones or which one you should actually buy. Um, I actually have all four of them. I actually have even the older ones. So I have actually more than four. So I have the Ledger Nano S Plus here. I have the Ledger Nano X. I have the Ledger Nano um, Flex, the new one, and also the new Ledger Stacks. And we will talk about which ones um, you should actually use and what are the difference between them. So first of all, if you want to buy one, um, you can actually buy all four of them because all four of them are in terms of security the same. Um, I can actually show you that. Um, here under security, you can see they basically all use the same chip and you have the same software that you are using. So you're all with using um, Ledger Lives, that's how their software is called. And you have the same recovery phase and so on. So in terms of security, it doesn't make a difference if you buy the one for um, 59 euros or the one for 400 euros. Um, it's basically the same. Um, the main difference is, um, first of all, the display. So the Ledger Nano X and the S Plus have a smaller display and the flex and the stacks um, have a bigger one. However, they basically show you the same stuff than um, the Ledger Nano X and S, so you always see the same stuff on the display. It's just more easy to read. And if you make your purchase decision, it actually depends if you want to use um, your hardware wallet um, with your cell phone or if you just want to use it um, with your computer. So if you want to use your hardware wallet with your cell phone as well, so they have the Ledger Live app, you can connect um, your hardware wallet with your computer via the Ledger Live app. And the Ledger Live app is also available for your cell phone, so for Android and iOS. And if you want to do that and use it on your cell phone, um, you have to buy at least the Ledger Nano X for 150 euros. Um, Ledger Nano S Plus doesn't support um, Bluetooth. So you can only connect it via USB-C to your computer. And um, with the other three models, so the Stacks, Flex and Nano X, and you also have Bluetooth. So you can also connect it to your cell phone and then you can actually make transactions or receive um, funds via your cell phone as well. So that's basically the main difference between these um, for hardware wallets. So you basically just need to decide um, if you want to use it with your cell phone or not. Um, besides that, it's obviously a bit more easy to read on the um, Ledger Nano Flex or Stacks display. Actually, both the Flex and the Stacks are pretty similar in size and um, the Stacks is a bit um, bigger. However, um, the display is way bigger than the flex because um, you don't have like the outside here, um, which is very thick as you can see. And yeah, that takes a lot of screen space away. And here you have um, very thin bezels basically. So if you want to buy one, um, it actually makes sense um, most of the time to buy the Ledger Nano X because, um, as I said, it's the same in terms of security. You can even connect it with um, your cell phone. Um, it basically um, has the same coins. So all four of them have the same number of coins um, that you can use and you can store NFTs on it and so on. And um, it's fair in terms of price. However, um, if you like the bigger display a bit more and you want to have NFC and there's not really a use case for NFC yet where people use it a lot. However, in the future it might change and then you can also buy the flex or the stacks. A main difference between the flex and the stacks is um, first of all the screen size, as I said, and then um, the stacks, so the most expensive model you can also charge via US, uh, no, via wireless charging. So you can just put it on a wireless charging plate and it charges. And here the um, flex you need to put into a USB-C 
cable. However, that's basically it. Besides that, every um, hardware wallet from Ledger is basically the same. You're using the same platform, the same software, and it's always Ledger Live, and it doesn't really make a big difference. However, if you want to buy it, I would highly recommend buying it from the manufacturer itself. I will put a link down in the description to Ledger, where you can actually buy it from Ledger. And, and because in the past there were always um, examples where they tampered with the wallet when you bought it somewhere else. And so I would always buy it from the manufacturer and they also have like some security features. So for example, there's a seal here that you need to strip off and when you get it um, the first time, then you can see that no one opened it so far. And so um, be a bit careful with that. So if you have any questions about it, please feel free to use the comments down below. And if you find that video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.